Welcome back to Avenue Obscura. You know, growing up, one of my favorite horror movies was Jurassic Park. And I know what you're going to say, David, Jurassic Park's not a horror movie. Yes, it is, and I will fight you on that, just like Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Um, think about it. It has suspense. It has horror. It has big monsters trying to eat people. Um, it's got all the trappings. It's got atmosphere. It's got all the trappings of a horror movie. So I classify Jurassic Park as a horror movie. So anyways, when I found out that there was going to be a drive through pop-up called Jurassic Quest down here at the Pomona Fairplex, I wanted to come check it out. All right, so what did I like and what were my gripes? Um, things I liked. The models of the dinosaurs, they were actually really nice, really detailed. I thought that I, they were, I was impressed. Um, also, the animatronics was pretty decent for an outside event that was put up probably in a few days. Yeah, I was really impressed. Plus the sounds that they played through the, you know, the dinosaur sounds, I was, I was, really happy with them. I thought that was a really good part of the experience. Now my gripes. Um, number one, immersion. <sighs> Honestly, you're going through the Fairplex, it really seemed like dinosaurs standing in the middle of a parking lot. Um, I would have loved if they had uh, put some a little bit of time into maybe looking like a jungle or looking like a forest or whatever that dinosaur, you know, was their natural habitat. Maybe if they had put a little more time into making the habitat look like an actual habitat, it would have been more immersive because, you know, when you see a dinosaur in a parking lot, you're not super immersed. Um, you know, the other downside is um, the scale of the dinosaurs. I, I get it. It's a small event. However, I would have liked to see the dinosaurs a little more to scale. I mean, seeing a T-Rex that's you know, slightly bigger than a horse, you know, guess it kind of goes back to that immersion factor, right? It, it's just not as impressive. Uh, so I would have liked to see the scale of the dinosaurs a little bit better. Um, number three, the actual, like, they kind of have like a story. It's kind of corny, but at the same time, the experience really is probably more meant for kids. So with kids' experiences, you want a little bit of corniness. Um, Final thoughts, would I recommend it? I'm gonna break this up into, I'm gonna try to be fair and break this out into different categories. So if you are an adult that loves dinosaurs, I'd recommend it, I'd say go for it. Um, you're gonna get some you know, cool visuals, you learn some stuff about the dinosaurs, that's nice. If you're a regular adult who's not a dinosaur buff, skip it. Uh, it's definitely more themed towards kids which is great, but that just means adults going by themselves, you're probably not gonna have that great of a time. If you're a family with kids, especially young kids, I'd say between five and 12, this is a great experience. Uh, right now, you know, here, at least here in Southern California, most schools are still closed. This was actually an educational thing. So I think this could get kids out and get them out and, and socializing a little bit more, you know, at least with maybe their friends in the car, right? Um, now, if you are a family with teenagers or anything above, skip it. I don't think, unless, again, unless teenagers are super into dinosaurs, I think it's going to be a little too kiddy for them. So, 
overall for families definitely recommend uh, thank you so much for watching tonight's video we will be back really soon with some more content go check us out over at instagram at avenue obscura and we'll see you next time